Hello, my friends, and welcome back to another Brotato Danger 5 genetically modified overkill run. Hope you're all doing well. We are, of course, going to mash up two random characters and just kind of see what we get. I'm excited to see what monstrosity the game gives us today. We've got the Masochist and the Multitasker, so we can have 12 weapons and have to take damage in order to be able to deal damage. So this is a very interesting one. Um, normally, with the multitasker, you want to go with something like just stick, because, of course, this it gets additional damage based on the number of sticks you have. You can have 12 of them, so it'll do tons of damage. Um, and Masochist wants to build something like Spiky Shield, usually. I'm interested to see what looks good. I kind of want to try like half spicy, spiky shields and half rocks or something like that. That could be pretty fun. Or, so this is, we could get medieval and blunt and medical and precise if we went like spiky shields and scissors. That could be kind of fun too. Um, that would mean I'd have to build armor and melee damage, but that's okay. Let's actually try that. That seems kind of fun. So we're, I'm going to start with the scissors, and then I'll try to go for, like, rocks or... Um, rocks or spiky shields or something as my second weapon type. Try to just maximize our tags. When you're playing the Masochist, uh, you have to stand in the enemies and take damage, because that's how you get damage. And notice that we have 20 HP regen, we have low percent damage to start with, and it's going to get worse, because we've got the multitasker penalty as well. Um, but we also get a bunch of armor and HP and HP regen to start. I'm going to reroll here and see if we can get just some harvesting or something. Um, getting harvesting going will be useful, I think. So, yeah, so Masochist gives us 8 armor, 20 regeneration, 10 max HP, and we gain damage whenever we take damage until the end of the wave. And Multitasker also costs us percent damage, and um, we can have up to 12 weapons at a time, but we lose damage for every weapon we have. We do get slightly higher base damage, though. I'm going to roll past all this. We don't need it. I'll take this scissors. Um, it's early enough I will lock the scar. The XP gain will be very useful starting at wave 3, and then we'll grab another scissors, and I'll roll again, lock the scissors, and I'll lock the lemonade as well. So I need to step into these enemies to take additional damage if possible. And what you want when you aren't going for just pure sticks on the multitasker is to basically get as many weapon tags as possible. So that's why I was thinking about like blunt plus medieval plus precise, that kind of thing, because that'll be just be really fun. Gentle Alien is great, both because it's just a great item, of course, and also because on this character, it lets us take damage more easily because there's more enemies on the field. I'm going to reroll this, I think, and nothing here. I'll just take the regeneration. As much as I do want to take more harvesting and stuff, um, I don't think it's worth rerolling extensively to get that. We'll take more scissors and roll. You know, roll again. Scissors again. So I do need to get into the other weapon tags if I want those to start showing up. But for now, I'm just going to keep buying scissors. So it's important that you kind of recognize how much damage you're taking when you're playing this character combo. You see, I'm taking two or three damage every time I get hit, meaning that the amount of damage that's incoming is still fairly manageable, but if we don't get enough armor or some other way to take damage, obviously, similar to um, the bull, the best item for this character is stuff like blood donation or bloody hand that allows you to take consistent damage without having to actually run into an enemy. I'll just take the level 2 HP here and the level 3 regeneration. Wow. With zero luck, getting a level 3 this early is quite quite fortunate. Take the scissors, take the scar, take the lemonade, and roll again. And I will buy these scissors, but I'm also going to throw in another reroll to see if we can hit a, another good uh, weapon for us. Baby Elephant is pretty interesting because we will be building percent damage over the course of the wave, thanks to being the masochist, um, but I think I'm going to pass on it here. 
trying to walk into these enemies and take some damage. There we go. This big crowd of enemies helped me take some damage. Um, scissors are great for the masochists, of course, because you have the the regeneration from them being medical weapons, and also just they have inherently high life steal, and having both life steal and regeneration lets you sustain really well on this character. We also really do get to remove all the downsides of being the multitasker just by building all of this damage, and the multitasker is already a very powerful character. Um, here I'm going to take the 8 harvesting. We can get to 20 harvesting pretty easily if I start building that, and currently I don't need to build melee damage or anything. I will also build, I think, attack speed. Attack speed is a healing stat for us as well because we are life stealing off of these scissors. Um, let's buy another scissors... And do I want two melee damage? I don't think so. I'll buy the lemonade and reroll. Um, Jousting Lance would get us a medieval tag, which would maybe let us roll into spiky shields more easily. So I could consider buying that. I think I'm going to pass here and, and roll again. Oh, hey, we got a spiky shield. Perfect. I'll buy the uh, coupon, and defective steroids will be great for us. We built attack speed already, and HP and melee damage is something that we need. We do have the downside of having, like I said, we will have to build armor for the spiky shield damage and melee damage for the scissors. So we do give up one of the main benefits of spiky shields, which is not having to build melee damage. But it's just going to be so much fun to have this build online anyways that I'm happy to do it. We could also have used rocks, um, which scale off of melee damage, so we wouldn't have that problem. But we're going to be building armor very aggressively on this character anyways, so I'm not too worried about losing out on the shields. One thing about spiky shield damage that is worth mentioning, though, is that they scale extremely well with levels. And on the multitasker, it's going to be harder to level up your character. Or harder to level up your weapons, because you've just got more of them to focus on leveling. Definitely take the dangerous bunny, that's great. And yeah, I can start building some dodge here. We're going to get some dodge also from the medieval tag, so that will help us build, build that up. And I'll just take one armor. Armor is very important to start building early, so we'll get that going. Grab the fertilizer, grab the spiky shield, and roll again. Um, nothing here. Let's roll. Take this bag for sure. And then I'll also take the ugly tooth. I do need to build up my speed, but ugly tooth is, is pretty valuable to get this early um, when it's cheap. Because it's... Uh, it's very good against elites, especially for a character like this that needs to take damage before it can start to kill elites, so you really want to make it easier for you to dodge them. Um, and then also will enable us to stay alive a little more easily. And it removes a unique from the pool early, so then we don't roll it in future. It makes our, our shop slightly better. I guess there is some anti-synergy between the spiky shields and the scissors that I hadn't really considered, which is that we are going to push enemies away from us with the shield knockback, and then it'll make it harder for us to life steal. I'll recycle this because we're not doing burning, but I'll take the lumberjack shirt. Yeah, so it's going to make it harder for us to life steal because we're pushing the enemies away, but I don't think that will be a huge issue for this build. I don't really need any of... I, I don't need the, the Blood Leech. I will take the Injection, even though we do need to increase our max HP. Any percent damage we build helps us get our Masochist damage online faster. Um, and I will de definitely take the Compass. We're going to need to build speed since we're reducing it with the shields. Let's roll again. I'll take the Head Injury for sure. Buy another set of scissors, and yeah, I'll buy more armor. Armor is very important, even though we do need to then repair our speed more, but we're going to have to spend time doing that anyways. Do I want to just take a rock to get our blunt weapons online? I think I'm going to pass on that and just focus on shields, because I like the medieval tag as well. That's armor and dodge for us, which will be very valuable. Is it worth re-rolling? I think not. Let's go to the next wave. Right now, I've just got only um, shields and scissors, but or only scissors and like one shield, but I think that's okay. 
as my damage increases, we should be able to kill this thing fairly easily. So I'm I'm letting the the slashers hatch. Lumberjack shirt is also nice because early in a wave, before we've built up masochist damage, we can still break trees without having to like sit on them waiting for our damage to stack up. We ended up with pretty good harvesting so far on this build too, which is kind of nice. Um, our wave clear is fine, not incredible, but fine. Here I'm just going to take the armor. While I do need all of these stats, like they'd all be really good, armor is going to be the most valuable for us. Um, and then I will take melee damage to help scale our scissors as well. We'll buy a coupon and buy a spiky shield. Roll again. Ooh, a tractor. I mean, getting up to 80 harvesting this early is going to be awesome, so let's definitely buy that, and then I will buy a shield and a scissors a, a, as well. Ideally, we'll end up with six of each weapon, so right now I've got 12. That means I need to start, when I see more uh, weapons, I need to start combining scissors to try to get our medieval and blunt tags online. This is a fairly tough wave for the Masochist, because it's not that many enemies, and they are mostly high damage enemies. Um, oh yeah, also I should mention that dodge, much like when I was playing the bull in one of my more recent videos as well, or a, a combo with the bull, um, dodge is still good for the Masochist, even though you might think you want to avoid things that prevent you from taking damage. Um, because it, it just increases your effective HP so much, and you can still take damage. You just get to play a little more aggressively with your positioning when you have dodge. In the like extreme late game, when your dodge gets very high, it might start being a problem, but it mostly is never going to be an issue. Definitely take some luck here, that's great, and I'll take 9 max HP, because max HP is good to have. Take the fertilizer, for sure. Do I want the medical turret? I think we'll pass. Our healing should be really good on this character combo, so I'm not actually too worried about building more healing. I will take a shady potion, though, and an injection, and a helmet. Um, and then normally I probably wouldn't buy this hedgehog, but it does come with a 50, or with a 12 material discount. Does that make it worth it? I don't think so. I'm just going to roll past the, the Hedgehog here. Hedgehog is just a really inefficient way to buy melee damage, and melee damage, while good for us, isn't like critically important. So I'm not going to worry too much about it. I'll buy the tree and the lost duck and lock the leather vest. More weapons would be nice to find, but other than that, I would say this run is going very well. Have taken a bunch of damage here, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Luckily, with all these scissors, we can lifesteal back up pretty rapidly. Gonna go hit this tree. Still trying to take as much damage as possible here. Um... just to make sure that we're actually one-shotting these enemies. Let's go chase down this thing if we can, bully it into the corner and beat it up. In an ideal world, we'll end up getting like six or 700 from this wave, which will really help us scale. Yeah, six, 660, that's pretty good. Definitely taking Cute Monkey. This is a great way to heal on this character. And, yep, we need melee damage, so mastery is an excellent find. I'll actually take the crit chance over the harvesting. We have a lot of harvesting already, and crit chance is going to help with our damage a lot. And then here, more armor. We'll take armor whenever we see it. Gonna combine and pick up another level 2 scissors, and a scissors, and a leather vest. Roll again. Gentle Alien, for sure. Do I want Wheelbarrow? I think even though it does decrease our armor, at this point it's still worth it. The Wheelbarrow will pay for itself quite quickly, so I'm very happy to take that. Definitely taking Coffee, of course. Additional attack speed is very important for this build. 
Ooh, glass cannon. So this will help us get our damage online much, much faster. Um, but at the cost of three armor, I think this is worth it. 25% damage is, is five hits for the masochist, right? Because you get 5% damage every time you take damage until the end of the wave. So requiring five fewer hits to get our damage to the point where we're actually killing things is a huge speed boost to our wave clear. Ritual will be good. This is similarly one fewer hit to gain percent damage. And adding a little bit more lifesteal is never bad. And we'll take mastery as well. Yeah, the knockback on these um, spiky shields also does have the problem that we are pushing enemies away before we can take damage from them, which does make it a little harder to build percent damage. Um, obviously, the best thing that could happen for this build still is to roll Blood Donation or Bloody Hand. A hunting trophy would also be excellent since we are a precise build. Uh, getting to have four different weapon tags gives you a lot of options, too, which is really nice. Just one of the powerful things about playing multitasker is that you get to have four weapon tags if you want them. Uh, here I'm going to take attack speed over these two. Just attack speed's very important, and armor over everything, as usual. I will spend a melee damage on getting the Peaceful Bee. Again, while the harvesting will take a while to pay for itself, because of when we got it, it does boost our harvesting percentage gain by a little, and just an efficient way to buy dodge. Here we go, we get to combine two scissors and get another spiky shield, which is great. While I do want to buy dodge. I'm not going to buy gambling token because armor is really important for us as well, but I will buy crit chance there. And roll, and roll one more time. Uh, another spiky shield, so this I can again combine our scissors. We've currently got four different shields. You can see that just by looking at the weapon tags and seeing how many we have. So we're still trying to get up to six shields so that we can max out our weapon tags. And then we can start thinking about combining uh, sort of how we're going to combine weapons. And I'll lock the head injury as well because it's just one fewer hit we have to take. Now I need movement speed. The rib cages are just going to be ping-ponging everywhere because we're spiky shields, but that's okay. As long as we can take a decent amount of damage before they get too fast. So like what I'm trying to do is take damage so that we can actually kill these rib cages because if we if we just push them away and they get really fast before we've built up a bunch of damage, um, then we might not be able to kill them before they hit us a bunch of times. Also, trying to walk into the projectiles that the aliens are shooting, because it's one of the ways I can still reliably take damage, even with a lot of knockback. If we could reduce our knockback somehow, that would be pretty nice, actually, because this character really doesn't want to knock back enemies. So, like, lowering range also kind of has that effect. I'm trying to keep my range relatively low, because we want to stay on top of enemies. We didn't buy Hedgehog, but when it's uh, something we can just take, I'll take it. And then, yeah, I'll take the Scar here. It will still be a decent amount of XP. Definitely going to take this movement speed. With minus 11% speed, I need to take speed whenever I see it. Um, that's not legal advice, though. And then let me combine these scissors and buy another shield. And now we've gotten both of our sets of weapons maxed out, so our tags are fully online. Percent damage as well. Do I want spicy sauce? I think so. We actually are kind of low on max HP for a, a masochist build, so I'm trying to build that if I can. And yeah, I'm going to continue to buy glass cannons. We will still have 20 armor, which is still pretty good. Um, and again, the fewer hits it takes for us to get to a reasonable damage value, the better. Here, I will take the leather vest, and then I will also definitely take broken mouth. Do I want the snail? I 
think we do. We will still have to repair our speed, but between Snail and um, Ugly Tooth, we can really slow Elites down, and that will make uh, the thing that is dangerous to this build, getting just punked by Elites, much easier. We've actually got good enough damage at this point that even before we've taken a single hit, we're killing some of these enemies, which is really funny. Now I stand still in the middle of the arena, though, to try to make sure I'm tanking some damage. Yeah, we are actually having a lot of trouble building damage because of the, uh, <laughs> the knockback on the spiky shields. And just the fact that we've got pretty high damage with this build already. This is another just very powerful combo, not because the classes synergize that much with one another, but just because it's two extremely powerful classes combined. Um, like, these are both just top-tier classes. I think I rated them both S-tier in my class tier list. Though, it was a while ago that I made that, so I could be misremembering. Yeah, I'll take the charcoal here. Um, again, a fairly inefficient way to get melee damage, but worth it. And Cute Monkey, great for healing still. And I will buy... I'm actually going to take movement speed. We're about to decrease our speed. I do want armor and attack speed, but I'd really like to get positive movement speed if we can. And yeah, 9% crit chance. Sure. So now we have, with a level 2 scissors, we have a 50% chance to crit, which is not bad. Not amazing, but not bad. And then, of course, just our 37% crit chance with the spiky shields. Snail, yes. Missile, I think, will pass on. It's a fairly inefficient way to buy percent damage, and um, we need attack speed to maintain our lifesteal and stuff. Crown will pay for itself, because we have a huge amount of harvesting, so that's great. Shady Potion, yes. We actually have decent consumable healing, only five, but it's it's fine. Uh, so the more luck we build, the better. And of course, we'll take attack speed. So with six, we've got six and six. So I don't want to combine spiky shields. I basically just want to combine scissors. Do we have two level one scissors still? We don't. So I'll buy a scissors and just go up to a level three. Roll one more time, and bowler hat, yeah, I will buy that. Luck and harvesting will be good, especially because we got crown. And then alloy, we do want to build dodge, but um, alloy gives us crit chance and melee damage. Is that worth it? I think it's not worth locking here. And while I do want schmoop, yeah, I'll buy the schmoop, because our, um, our HP really could use a boost before we have to fight an elite. You see, again, we're we're killing these things before we've even taken any masochist hits. I think we still have not taken damage this uh, wave. We just took some there, but... <laughs> it's actually costing me... I, the, the fact that I have 12 weapons and I'm, like, killing stuff really fast by being multitasker is actually costing me wave clear speed. So I think these these characters, despite being incredibly powerful and just, you know, obviously we're, we're cruising to a victory because the characters are so powerful, actually don't synergize very well with one another. We're, like, preventing... The, the multitasker being so good at killing stuff is preventing the masochist from gaining damage, which is slowing my clear speeds. No, come back. No! Aww. All right, um, sure, more Shady Potions and more attack speed. And then, yeah, I will take the Bowler Hat, the Schmoop, and the Ritual. Roll again. We'll take one armor here, that's fine, and roll again. And I don't want to cap my speed at minus four, I'd still like to increase that, but I will take a Fertilizer. Lock the Cyclops Worm and the Leather Vest, and go on to Wave 14. Wave 14 could be somewhat dangerous here, but we do... Um, I, I still just can't take damage. Gotta, gotta take some damage before the, uh, the summons stack up too much so I can actually clear them. 
Wave 14 is typically not as dangerous for melee characters because it's easier to control what you're actually killing. But because our, we have so many increased enemies from like multiple gentle aliens and the, the just um, GMO penalty that increases your number of enemies on the field, and because we had low damage to start, um, the, the summoners were despawning, and when they despawn, they still summon. So we built up a ton of summons on the field, even though we weren't actually killing anything, because I wasn't able to, to clear them quickly enough. Uh, I'm going to recycle this. I don't think we particularly need it, and it, it won't contribute to our wave clear at all. 16% damage is three hits that we don't have to take, which is good. Three armor is also great. I'm going to take the percent damage just because it's a higher uh, leveled thing. Sure, I'll buy another fertilizer and leather vest and cyclops worm. Roll again. Rip and tear, based on our melee damage, it only explodes for 12. I think I'm going to pass on that. I will buy the Pocket Factory, because we already have Lumberjack shirt, and that just sounds kind of fun. Metal Detector, I don't think, will pay for itself before the end of the game. And then I'm going to upgrade my scissors, upgrade my scissors, lock the tentacle, and go to fight the Elite. So you can see, like, when we're fighting an Elite, because Elites do so much damage, the damage instances that we're taking are, are really high and put our healing under quite a bit of pressure. So I have to be fairly careful about how I'm going about building up damage in order to kill this elite so that we don't just die to the elite. On the other hand, it also gives us a, a fairly reliable way of taking damage because we can always just stand in it to take a damage instance. Ensuring that we're building up damage before the end of the wave. I also do want to make sure I'm clearing um, at least some of these summoners, just to make things slightly less difficult for us. Or some of the summons, rather. At this point, though, our regeneration and damage output is high enough that we're not in a ton of danger. Sif's Relic, yes, that's especially good with the three cute monkeys that we have, that's going to be a lot of healing, and we'll take melee damage. Um, bandana, we have no projectiles, so we're not going to take that. Attack speed is what we need more than anything else. And I think I will to just take five regen. Our regen is a reasonable component of our healing still. Here I'm going to combine two spiky shields and buy another one, and then combine two scissors and buy another one buy the tentacle for some additional crit chance and healing. And yeah, I'll buy a sad tomato. We can heal that up very quickly. That's not a problem. Fairy is going to be a ton of healing for us, so that's great. And then do I have two level two scissors here or two level one scissors? I don't, so we have to go to level four. And we'll Buy a Peaceful Bee. Yeah, I'll buy 4% dodge for 60. That's fine. Lock this tree. Have I gained enough melee damage to make Rip and Tear worth it? I think not, but I'll lock the scissors here. Since we suddenly have like 70 HP regen because we got Fairy and Sad Tomato, both of which are incredible sources of healing, um, being at half health to start is really not a problem. <laughs> we heal it up before the first enemies spawn. Again, still hoping to find um, Blood Donation or Bloody Hand. We actually have built some Lifesteal, which normally you wouldn't build Lifesteal on a, on a Scissors build because they come with Lifesteal, but um, we've built a little bit thanks to finding a bunch of Rituals. So Bloody Hand would be quite a lot of damage for us. Torture, definitely not. We need way more healing than this can provide, even though we do want the HP, but Broken Mouth, a much better way to get that. I'll take more crit chance. That's awesome. Uh, increases the crit chance and also thus the healing, since we have the tentacle here. 
Upgrade to a level 2 scissors, more armor, more trees, reroll more enemies. Um, we don't need more XP at this point. We've already got 40% and it doesn't, or 30%, it doesn't stack very well with itself. Um, so we don't need to buy more and of course it's also already wave 17 so it won't give us that many levels. The fertilizer will only trigger four times, but will help increase our healing and our levels. I think at this point it's still too late to pick it up. I will take the defective steroids for sure. Do I want sunglasses? I think so. This is a decent increase to our DPS at the cost of one armor, and we've got lots of armor. Um, yep, more... More HP is excellent, more melee damage is great, and decreasing our range, like we talked about, is actually pretty good, because it lets us lifesteal more easily by keeping enemies next to us. I'm trying to take some damage here as I just, like, walk into this guy. Um, when you're in sort of a situation like this where you're trying to take damage from an elite, you can watch your HP bar in the top left rather than on the field. It's just easier to keep track of there, I think. As long as you don't lose track of, you know, where your character is. But it gives you a little more information about when you need to re-engage to when you need to pull back on one of these characters that actually wants to be managing their health actively, like Masochist or Bull or Lich. Obviously, for a character like Masochist, the best combo is something like Sick, because instead of having to roll into Blood Donation or Bloody Hand, you just get to start with one. Um, but this has been pretty fun. Yeah, I'll take the Lifesteal. I mean, why not? And Cape? Sure. We lose two melee damage, but our dodge goes way up. We're almost dodge capped now. And then here, I'm going to take the 12% speed. I'd like to get positive speed at least. Do we still have a level 1 shield? We do not, so let's combine and buy spiky shield. We only have um, two different weapons, so focus is still only 6% attack speed loss. So for 30% damage, yeah, uh, I'll take that. And then I could get another free reroll by buying the hedgehog, but I think I'm just going to pass on that. We only gain a very small amount of damage from this power generator, but I just like power generator, so I'm going to buy it. Then any speed we buy now is going to serve double duty. Usually with items like power generator or stone skin, they're better if you get them early because then you can prioritize buying the stat that they double up on more aggressively. Like this power generator is going to end up being maybe 5-10% damage something like that and not be super valuable though 10% damage is still going to be worth the 200 probably like it's going to be the power generator is going to be sort of the equivalent of something like a cyclops worm uh, assuming we buy a little more speed which we intended to do anyways um, and cyclops worm is a great and very efficient item so you can think of it that way Trying to take a little bit of damage here, and then just walking into projectiles. Since we have almost 60% dodge, it's again a little harder for us to take reliable damage. Oh, I should break these trees. I, For some reason, I just blanked on there being those trees there. More armor. Yes, please. More crit chance. Yep. More melee damage. Yep. Reroll. We can dodge cap and gain crit chance with this blindfold, which is great, by the broken mouth. I'm 100% certain I've skipped a bunch of scissors and spiky shields, because trying to look for two items like that is kind of hard. Um, so, you know, I'm sure I've skipped a couple items we could have gotten. We don't need baby gecko, of course, because we already have Sif's Relic. I will lock the mastery, though, and then let's just go to wave 19. You can see, now we've built enough damage, we actually don't need to take any damage at all in order to deal respectable damage. But every time we do take damage, our damage goes up. And that's kind of the secret to the Masochist and why it's such a powerful character, is you basically get everything for free. You get tons of defensive stats for free, and um, you can just build damage and repair your damage back to full anyways, while also gaining damage every time you take a hit. 
And it's easy to build damage on the, on the Masochist because you don't have to pay for defensive stats the same way. Especially if you go with a Spiky Shield build or a Scissors build where you then don't have to buy damage or don't have to buy healing or something like that. Got like 400 harvesting, which is great. Uh, damage and HP, sure. Lifesteal and regeneration. At this point, our harvesting is not that important, but I'll take another cute monkey. And here we can buy 9% speed, which is also 9% damage. And 20 luck, I think. Sure, why not? We would undodge cap ourselves if I buy the alloy um, for only three melee damage and some crit chance. I don't think that's worth it. I'm going to reroll past that. Reroll again. Nothing here that I want. I could buy just buy 13 HP on the padding, but we don't don't need to do that. I can upgrade our shields and gain more armor. Obviously, exoskeleton is perfect. It gives us everything we need here. What's our crit chance sitting at? It's 67% on the shields, 79% on the scissors. So yeah, sunglasses is still going to be worth it, I think. Warrior Helmet, Armor, and HP does cost us a little damage, of course, because we have the, the power generator, but it's still really good, and consumable healing is still valuable for us as well. Nothing else here that we can afford, so let's just reroll and see what we would have been able to buy. Ah, uh, oh, darn, we missed out on a Finn. Finn would have been pretty nice. Let me walk into these enemies and try to take some damage here. trying not to go below like 50% just to keep myself um, safe because if I just stand in the bosses and then accidentally walk into their attacks a bunch we could die pretty easily uh, as is though I'm, I'm happy to just tank a little bit and then clear these bosses. This was not a very challenging combo of course but it was a pretty fun one. And there you have it. That is the multitasker and the masochist using a bunch of defensive items. Um, tons of lifesteal, tons of armor. We ended up with, let's see, 163 harvesting gained from the crown, which probably worked out to like a 800 materials or so. So that, that obviously paid for itself very well. Um, 100 HP healed from the tentacles. Oh, actually, I'm curious how the cute monkeys did. Yeah, 300 healing from these cute monkeys, so they really were pulling their weight. Um, and then uh, the major decisions that we made this run were... We, we like, mostly didn't make any decisions because this was just a very easy run. But I do... I am happy with how the glass cannons came out. They That might have seemed a little risky, but the additional percent damage really paid for itself very quickly. And our armor, as you can see, did not suffer. All right, my friends, I hope that you've enjoyed this GMO random random run. And as always, if you have, do please take the time to like the video um, and leave a comment. I, Even though I haven't been answering every comment lately, uh, just the volume of comments has gotten to be too much for me to keep up with. I still read them all, and I really appreciate getting them. And if you have a direct question or something like that, I still do try to answer them um, as much as I can. So once again, thank you so much to everyone who leaves comments. I really appreciate it, and thank you all for watching. I will catch you next time.